Greetings sailors and welcome back to World of Warships and a ship I somehow haven't yet covered despite the fact I've been grinding it for a little while. The Duncan! This is of course the tier 9 British battle cruiser and it's got the length to prove it. Uh, you can tell this is one of those earlier designs when they needed so much more room for making fast battleships essential, or well, battle cruiser really, it's it's definitely battle cruiser armour rather than battleship armour and uh, yeah like fully the rear half of the ship is basically sort of engines and secondaries uh, it does have at least triple guns but uh, or, or triple turrets rather, three triple turrets but it it's a little bit of an awkward setup with that midships turret there so uh yeah especially for running away from anything it's not like you've got any super long range secondaries to rely on so it's kind of an awkward one to play it does have that british high explosive going for it though with these 16 inch guns so uh yeah you can always resort to that if the ap is is not doing what you want it to do so let's give this a go and uh, see how we do with it. I, I honestly, I, I found it okay, but I've not been doing that well with it overall, which is partly why the grind has been taking this long, because I just haven't been playing it that consistently. It's a lot easier with ships where you actively enjoy playing them, as opposed to ships where you think, eh, I should try and get the daily, and then a lot of days you just don't bother. Uh, this is definitely one of those ships, but uh, the tier 10 is pretty decent, so... Yeah, uh, I, I mean, I've been through worse tier 9 grinds. Um, <laughs> there are certainly some tier 9s that are uh, as m much of uh, an awkward experience as this, if not more so. Uh, like the Friedrich de Crossa is uh, not a fan favourite. A lot of people don't like Izumo that much, although I, I kind of do. Izumo has got the armour, at least. Uh, what else is it tier 9 that's a bit awkward? I don't know, there are probably other things that I'm not thinking of right now. Anyway, this does have a decent turn of speed. Uh, the torpedoes are, uh, like, you've, you've got two of them. Uh, not that useful. The angle, the forward angle is pretty good, which is great if you're pushing towards somebody, but um, yeah, I, I don't tend to get a lot of use of the, the torpedoes on this and overall I just I, I guess I find it hard to play in the more circumspect manner that this ship requires uh, especially as it also has those uh, awkward turrets to deal with you really can't afford to show much broadside in this it's not really a, a tanky pushing battleship at all and so you sort of end up relying more on your allies and maybe that's another reason why I don't enjoy it as much as other ships where I can take a, a more direct role as opposed to having to rely more on allies than I would like. Because that's always a bit of a risky proposition in World of Warships. Anyway, uh, let's go for the Degrosa, or are you turning away? You're turning away, aren't you? Yeah, well, the range is not bad, but it, it's definitely outranged by... A, a fair few things at this this uh, level of matchmaking. It also doesn't really have like you can't look at, at it versus say the lion and go well okay the uh, the protection might be worse but uh, the firepower is better. Um, it's it's got that slightly over thirty second reload. And it does only have the the nine barrels. Uh, although it does have battle cruiser dispersion, so it does have that going for it. But yeah, it's it's hard to sort of point out this versus something like the Lion or the Izumo or um, uh, anything that's sort of got that gun firepower or even better gun firepower and has better armor as well. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's not the best suited for the long range firepower, but uh, that's what we're going to open up with. I do not want to be 
Uh, I do not want to be getting lots of attention and charging in face first and getting focus because uh, yeah only four heals is a bit of a downside. Uh, that broadside conqueror does look mighty tempting. And there's also a fairly broadside Montana there but I think the conqueror is the slightly bigger threat or certainly the slightly more annoying ship to deal with. Probably want to go dark so I can turn. This is a very unstealthy. There we go. A very unstealthy battle in that it's one destroyer, one uh, uh, submarine per side. Right, that is the Malt Plains. I think we can use this island to make a turn actually. And hello, Malta. Uh, do we want to bother with a... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the Akazuki yeah, was there, wasn't it? Um, well, well, there's a speed boost coming in handy. Okay, I wouldn't have been able to get unspotted anyway because the Akazuki was there. So never mind. Uh, it's annoyingly easy to get too close. Having said, I want to stay further back. It's that... Problem solved. Awkwardness of, well, when do I turn? Can I turn? Am I still spotted? <laughs> so, yeah, we're now down to like a third of my health already. Uh, <laughs> it's going very well. Somehow these situations seem to occur annoyingly often when I'm playing the Duncan. And then even with the uh, the good heals, we're still sort of uh, fairly critically low at this point. So yeah, this is this is turning out to be a fairly typical Duncan game as it happens. <laughs> you can see why I sort of uh, struggle to get the best out of this. I mean, I'm sure it's a uh, hundred percent a a player skill issue. This just being a style of of battleship that I'm just not that comfortable with. But yeah. Oh, okay, uh, Sin Yang went down already, so theirs is the only destroyer left. Although that's going to be annoying for them if the FDR decides to focus on them a lot. Anyway, um, I'm not the only one getting pummeled though, that Amagi is not looking nice. 10 seconds to a heal. And maybe I should, should I consider switching to high explosive? I'm not sure. Let's see if I can do something. Oh, there we go, one hit. Let's see if the Vinito can finish them off. Or maybe even me. Engine My front turrets come around. Uh, I don't know why I was attacked on there, but there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, all the battleships on this flank are getting kind of hammered, to be honest. Uh, at least I, I I feel marginally better in that it's not just me, but uh, yeah, everyone's getting a bit picked on. What are you doing, Cordelia? Going forwards again. You playing with your speed? Just about to be out of range anyway. Okay. Uh, yes, you were just playing with your speed a bit. Okay, right, so uh, that only now leaves the, the grosser in range. At least get that mid turret around on them. Yeah, there isn't a lot of. Like, you take heavy damage so easily just with this being such a long ship. Like, there is a, such a lot of broadside to hit on this if you're forced into pulling any kind of turn. Problem solved, sir. It's due to the awkward nature of the thing. Uh, it's not an uncommon occurrence. Right, you might want to move carrier. Which you are doing. And I might want to just run the heck away. Because, uh, oh yeah, there goes the Amagi. They're going to take the sea cap and at that point we're going to have to worry about this push of healthy ships coming up from from the south if we haven't uh, cleared out the north by that point. 
Because uh, there's not a lot of hit points I can get back at this stage. Well, I think we can use the mini map to hit this Degrossa. And I got me spotted by, I guess, the Conqueror. Oh well, at least the AR boost has kicked my uh, reload down to something uh, pretty respectable. <laughs> so at the cost of quite a lot of survivability though, I'd rather have the hit points to be honest. Um, let's try that again. I don't think that Drake is going to last too much longer. See if that lands at all. Uh, did a bit. Right, I think we might do some tactical high explosive spam. Because we need to. We need to be sapping the health of that DeGrosser if possible. And possibly the Conqueror as well. I'm just going into the middle because these sort of 2,000, 3,000 damage hits are uh, not what we need right now. Yeah, so the GK taking the brunt of the redemption. Um, well, yeah, okay, that Malta just killed somebody. That's not so good. Okay, we have secured the A cap at least. That's fine. The GK is down, so we defended B. We are actually reasonably ahead on points. We just kind of need to not make any super stupid moves at this stage, essentially. I'm going to have to rely on some long-range HE spam to do much of anything. Don't really have the health to take any sort of risks at this point. Uh, oh, that's just a yeah, see, there we go. That's more consistent. Oh, we did get that one good smack against the Conqueror earlier, but that was while they were quite firmly broadside. Should we go back to the AP if we're going to switch focus to the Hoodalia? Uh, they probably will start manoeuvring, but the carries force them to go in a straight line there at least. Okay, that wasn't just me. But that was still something. We're trying to push for the cap. You're in a kind of precarious position to do it. Uh, yeah, okay, no, that's, I would have chosen to go dark there, but you opened fire. I guess I was uh, a bit too tempting as a lower health target. And I'm not that worried about them as a damage dealer. If I was close enough for them to do an airdrop on me, yeah, okay, that could be a problem, but uh, they are absolutely not close enough. Problem with having gimped main firepower for the sake of the airdrop is that, uh, especially at higher tiers, you have to get uncomfortably close on some maps that just doesn't work. Right, uh, oh, we're down on another ship, that's not so good. There we go, that's some reasonably solid hits. I think back to high explosive after this. The FDR is at least sensible enough to run away. Albemarle's just taking cover. Don't blame them, that's kind of crappy matchmaking for an Albemarle. That Montana is worryingly high health, but uh, maybe it indicates they haven't done that much so far, I don't know. Anyway, if we can knock out this Conqueror. Oh, that was a decent ish AP hit. If we could knock out the Conqueror, that would be jolly useful. They are currently focusing the GK. Who is ooh, in a bit of a precarious position, I would have said, but it's pulling some attention away from the mid. Um, Alta claims another victim. This is entirely possible we could lose this. Yamato's got decent health. Uh, I'm going to use one of those heals. I think it's not that much health back, but oh, yeah, I was thinking the Montana might be taking an interest. Uh, 
a shot at the herd of Leo, who's going to try capping. I think we might be relying on our FDR to do something about that. Okay, that's a fire. Are they going to let that burn? Because if they put it out, then that actually might help the FDR. Just communicate that to the carrier. Alright, uh, I'm basically angling my butt towards these two and it might limit my ability to do some damage here. Um, yeah, I think the Yamato is focusing the Montana. We do still have our sub in play but they are very very low health. Uh, this is where if I had some armor I could maybe afford to push in somewhere but they they, I mean, we weren't able to take that many hit points off them down in the south, whereas the guys in the north lost enough to be problematic. Um, so, we're struggling to keep enough ships to make this a viable possibility of winning, really. Um, yeah. That was a big hit by somebody into Montana, probably the Amato, but they are now dead themselves. Yeah, I think we're possibly just going to run out of ships. We did manage to get a nice points lead, but... Um, right, I, don't, I think we're going to have to hold fire for a second while we angle away from the Montana, because uh, if we are oh, going towards them and, and oh no it's spotted firing that's going to be a, a non-starter right hello Malta let's see if the uh, defensive does anything particularly useful let's well get the speed boost going as well it's all impacting my ability to actually shoot back uh, hopefully that's going to Oh, well, we took one. That's unfortunate. Uh, we're forced into a position where I'm either manoeuvring around being shot or, you know, getting killed by the Malta, so, yeah. Oh, and there's the hit of Leo. And there's another hit. And I think I'm just about done. Right, I'm going to use this the Montana. If I can get a fire on the Montana before I go down, that helps out a bit at least. I think they're flooding a bit at the moment. But hopefully the Hood Leo misses. Uh, I might just be better at judging these things than me. Ah, oh, there's a fire. I'm done. Come on. Ah, no, not quite. Okay. Well, uh, I probably made things a bit unnecessarily difficult for myself by losing so much health. Uh, more health at the end certainly would have been useful. It might even have given me a bit more leeway to try and change the outcome of this, because it kind of looks like we're going to lose at this point. <laughs> I would be highly surprised if we actually managed to, to pull this back. Um, yeah, there was uh, there was just not enough firepower in the south versus what they had, I guess. I was the highest tier ship, and I was a squashy ship, so, yeah. Between the Conqueror and the Montana. What did we have as tier 10s? We had that Yamato. And the GK, both of whom went north. Okay, well, uh, the GK is now about to go down as well. Well, that was a shame. I definitely could have done a bit better. Uh, good enough to make a, diff a difference in the outcome of that game? Not entirely sure. Um, yeah, only halfway up the team list. I rarely do well enough to top out a team list in this thing. It's just, it's just too squashy for what I want to do in a battleship. It just takes too much damage too quickly. And somehow I find it hard to not put myself in a position where I take a lot of damage. <laughs> Which I guess you had a prime example of in that game. Hey, no carrier this time. 
Uh, tier 10. Uh, again, only one destroyer per team. And again, one sub per team. Okay. Uh, slightly higher proportion of tier 8s this time as well, so that might be slightly easier going. Although, having said that, any of the tier 8 battleships could still easily maul me very badly if they are able to get a, a shot at a decent angle. Okay, uh, let's push in a little. Let's go at half speed and see if the U190 spots anything. And then we might get a chance to shoot at stuff. There's a little bit of island cover we could use here potentially. But, um, yeah, uh, we're not really in a position of charging in face first and doing reconnaissance by fire, which I might consider if I was in a different battleship. Uh, that's definitely not built for that. Uh, although, having said that, we can, like, pop off a shot and see if anyone spots me. Well, we're still at relatively long range to anything. Sometimes you can provoke people into shooting back. And uh, then hopefully get some spots on the enemy. That way. Enemy sighted on the horizon. There we go, and Iowa, okay. Right, let's range at this angle. We might actually want the... And the poison. Yeah, let's go for the uh, high explosive. Um, but probably more likely to be a little bit consistent damage wise. Let's the sub. And the Minotaur just opened up, so I'm sure everyone's going to go, oh, Minotaur, let's shoot at the Minotaur. Uh, <laughs> It's all the fun of playing top tier squashy light cruiser. Wrapped up in an easy to citadel form. So there's a ship I play not very much either just because <laughs> it is so very far from the kind of ship that I am comfortable playing. Uh, it's, it's just the antithesis of everything. I, you know, I, I think like things like the Siegfried and the Aegea and the Yugumo, not the Yugumo, the uh, Yoshino, the Alaska, stuff like that. that that's what I'd like to play if I'm going to play a high tier cruiser. Right, um, I'm trying to be a bit more standoffish here. I don't know if, don't know how well this is going to work as opposed to what I was doing previously. Uh, but you never know, we might preserve more of our hit points <laughs> early on, at the very least, even if it's sort of not the most interesting way to play a ship. And uh, it's probably more the Cruiser HE that I have to worry about when I'm angled like this. Right, uh, having said that, we'll be switched back to AP for the Hindi. Who is pushing a bit... Uh, are you just reversing Iowa? I think so. Okay, looks like our subs are... Oh, the, the, the subs are just kind of not quite dueling each other but uh yeah well there's is firing at ours having a go at it anyway okay let's focus on this hindi certainly has a bit more armor going for them than the minotaur we might actually have to pull behind this island to be able to safely make some kind of turn because it looks like they're feeling like they can just push torpedoes to starboard 
Although that might be to our advantage, this Hindenburg is certainly trying to be very aggressive. Oh, that wasn't nearly enough lead apparently. Right, well outside torpedo range of the Hindi at least. Are they just charging in because they wanted to try and locate our sub? It's entirely possible. You do sometimes see people just get so enraged at the presence of a submarine that they just basically throw away uh, their, their ship to even have an attempt to get a sub. Right, that was sub damage into our Cristoforo Colombo. Uh, there is still the Iowa there before I start charging in full speed. Uh, yeah, this is this is very definitely not my preferred way to play a battleship. And it's the kind of playstyle that you're much more likely to be forced into at higher tiers. Just slowly jockeying back and forth and trying to stay bowing. Right, there's the Iowa. Uh, I guess we stick with the price and they are closer and therefore more likely to be hittable. Ah, oh, that is the same. Airborne. Just outside of range. Uh, nice if uh, somebody could, yeah. Enemy I guess they had the the uh, our salmon hydro spotted. Awaiting orders. Airborne. Right. Um, uh, we're gonna have to just back behind the island now, aren't we? Still taking a somewhat annoying amount of damage. Can you enjoy with that. I should really keep like wasting so much time without to turn my turrets back. It's kind of silly. Um. Okay, that Richelieu's making a play. I kind of don't want to just leave them out. Screwed in the open. And Massachusetts. Oh, we have lost the Colombo though, which is not great. That would be an incredible waste of two battleships if we don't give them, try and give them some support. So we can finish off the Preussen at least. Pings we can see. Fire. Uh, that's prop. Uh, prop. Pop. Damage con. Uh, heal rather, and then the damage con. Actually, I probably didn't need to do the damage con. That might have been a slight unforced mistake. Solved, sir. Oh, we should be able to take out the Preussen. Well, looks like the sub is on the other side of that island. Can I watch out for crossfire from the middle there? Uh, we're almost out of the range of fire from the Iowa though. You are. I, I'm not being super aggressive here, but <laughs> we've already used. There we go. Boost a fair amount of. Uh, fair amount of our health and a fair amount of heals. It's not ideal. Switch back to high explosive, and we're about to get a heal as well. 
I would change one thing about this ship, honestly. It might just be... Give it another heal. Or maybe improve the ability of its heals to... Deal with heavy damage. Right, I'm sort of hoping we might pop round the corner and catch this submarine on the surface. Uh, which would be nice. I was just, yeah, I think HE was the right call here. I was just backing up and backing up and backing up. Ah, uh, submarines, gotta love them. Such an excellent addition to the game. Definitely not being sarcastic. Well, I have no idea. Like this sub might be within range, but like I have, I have no clue. Our team has taken the lead. Clearly, weren't hanging around where I could uh, surface spot them. So there's basically no counters right now, other than hoping that they screw up. Oh, are they over there? Maybe the torps coming from torps coming from behind. I have no idea. We have just no way of, like, we just have guesswork based on where the torpedoes are coming from, kind of thing. Uh, here's where a bit of extra range on the torps might be useful, but I don't think we're going to get to use them. Yeah, that ritual is just like, screw it! Just all in. Gotta kill this reversing, annoying person. Alright, there we go. That's multiple fires. He's, he's done for. Oh, hello, sub. You were there somehow. Right, our first lot won't do anything. The second lot might do something. Yeah, we yeah. are. Okay. Actually, less damage than the first time round, but this is going to be a win unless we somehow massively screw things up. Awaiting orders. We actually have a bit more health to work with. And. Uh, yeah, the Zao's the only thing that's sort of slightly scary in terms of its torpedoes. The rest of them not so much. I mean the Elende has torpedoes but not that many. Wichita doesn't. Uh, and Alabama if I gave them a broadside yes it could be nasty but I don't intend on doing that. Okay there's the Alabama in range. Let's take a pop at them. Uh, I might even want to go back to high explosive actually. Uh, the 16 inch guns, the AP is alright, but it's definitely not as effective as it is at, at tier 7, even though the guns are probably rather more accurate than they are at tier 7. Enemy right, you are very low health, Sal, so that's useful to know. Definitely switch focus to you. Wichita also very low health. Nice, okay. Yeah, this is very doable. Right, next we focus down this Alabama. I'm just gonna power around this island and turn those in, basically. Slow my speed a bit. Uh, yeah, I don't, I do, like, we would have to seriously mess up to lose at this point. Richelieu is only just coming around, but that's fine. Battle ends in five minutes. We have plenty of leeway. In 
engine boost deactivated. I can just turn in and make sure I spot for everyone else. Uh, Alende is going to get behind the armor, but that's fine. Torpedoes dead ahead. There's the Alende torps. Which, uh, let's try and not take a torpedo, that would be embarrassing. Okay. Just try and get a fire and then I think switch back to AP. See if it sticks. So I've got heals. Oof! See, even, even when you're angled, that was a 15... K hit. Uh, that was unpleasant. Oh, put down the Wichita! Oh, I was trying to only fire one turret, but of course I queued up the ammo switch, so it fires all of the everything. Yeah, you're just going to try and get the kill at this point, aren't you, Alabama? But that's fine. If I go down, it's fine. We've still won. They're not walking away from this one. Right, this range, the AP should be more than okay. Bolt, there we go. Enemy battleship destroyed. Two and a half million potential. That's probably semi-respectable for this ship. Not exactly much more damage than last time, though. I don't think I've... Like, one of my highest damage games of all time is actually in the Lion, which is not known for having the best guns. I don't think I'm ever going to match that with the Duncan somehow. Um, <laughs> top of the... Uh, or near the top of the team is what I meant to say. The Richelieu actually did very well there. Uh, I actually compliment both that division. That, that was... Uh, as it turned out, it was an okay push. Um, yeah. And the Odo apparently did very well as well, so let's give them a compliment too. So, um, yeah, at least we got a win, even if the sort of damage wasn't that much better, but it was at least a better score. Uh, that's been pretty much my experience with Duncan, and you can see why I don't like I haven't been racing to to grind through this thing. It's just been every so often I go, okay, I'll try and get the daily, and uh, so it's it's going to be a bit of a slow grind through to the tier ten to the St Vincent. So uh, yeah, even though this isn't exactly a new ship anymore, uh, <laughs> it's still taking me a while to get here, and it's taking me a while to get through it. So you can share your own experiences, I guess, with the Duncan down below. Uh, you can otherwise do all the usual things underneath the video. And of course, as always, stay tuned for more.